Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Democrats openly saying national motto in God we trust offends them. We knew it was only a matter of time before we were reporting this ridiculousness. Democrats are now openly saying in God we trust offends them. According to Fox News, two Minnesota state senators led a very public challenge against a bill that would let the national motto back into high schools, should the high schools choose to display it. The bill was authored by Republican Senator Dan Hall, who says he did it to bring respect back to the Gopher State's public schools. I only assume that if you take those things out of government, if you take the things that are respectful out, you're going to put in something different, Hall told Fox News. We need to bring respect back to our country. Apparently, respect isn't high on the agenda of Senators Scott Dibble or John Marty, at least when it comes to matters involving the G-word. Both are members of the Democratic Farm or Labor Party, which is the Democrat Party's weird off-brand Minnesota state affiliate. Even though the bill would only let schools display the motto, not mandate its display, and even though the displays were privately funded, Dibble and Marty led a charge to defeat the bill. It ultimately passed 38 to 29, according to the Twin Cities Pioneer Press which means they were able to find 29 state senators to vote against displaying the national motto. In fact, Marty went as far as to say the motto offended him. The money in my wallet has to say in God we trust. I think that's offensive, Marty said on the Senate floor. I'm wondering if Senator, Dan, Hall would feel the same if students walked in and instead of the word God the word Allah, which is the word for God in the Muslim religion, welcomes students to their schools, Dibble added. Dibble is also the one who unsuccessfully tried to get a provision that would allow schools to display in Yahweh we trust in place of in God we trust, because apparently you can get elected to higher office in this country without realizing that neither Allah nor Yahweh is in our national motto. I just figured the opposition would be really short, Halt told Fox News on Sunday. When I started hearing more and more of this I thought, really? They don't want it that much in their schools? It's worth noting that not every member of the DFL needs a trigger warning because the word God is in our national motto. Senator Ron Latz of the DFL took to the Minnesota Senate floor to repeat the old adage that, uh, as long as there are tests in schools, there will be prayer in schools. However, Hall noted that opposition was part of a movement on the left to suppress anything that is religious in any way and wipe it out. I'd like not to believe that. However, the American left doesn't give much hope in the department particularly given its drift toward socialism and reflexively anti-religious positioning in recent years. Why should we be surprised that a movement whose flagship paper, The New York Times, published an op-ed this past weekend titled Happy Birthday, Karl Marx, you were right, is now offended by the mere mention of the word God? When the Democrats, or their preposterously named affiliates, give me some reason to believe they aren't reactively opposing religion, perhaps I'll do so. Until then. I'll remember them as the party whose members got offended by the national motto and suggested in Yahweh we trust. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.